crazy coil building time. I put one of these into one of those. Yeah. Check it out. Alrighty then YouTube, welcome back. Thanks for another, uh, or rather watching another review of mine. Um, nothing too uh, special today. Uh, you watched my uh, previous video about the uh, Pico RTA and uh, I mentioned that I've been pretty much exclusively using uh, CLR coils in this, the uh, Joytec CLR Eagle One coils. And I've uh, been poking around with it and the coil that I used in that particular video was uh, 0.75 ohm stainless steel 28 gauge. Um, I forget how many wraps I had on that 5.6, something like that. Came out to 0.75 ohms though, and just seemed like pfft, rock on vape. Um, I remember watching a video, I don't know if it was Homeboy Josh or uh, I'm not sure who exactly it was, but it was about the uh, the coil art coils. You know, these guys they take uh, their own uh, coils. They, they don't take existing coils, but they make coils for existing platforms like the Kanger Sub Tank, Atlantis, Heracles, all of that stuff. And uh, one of the ones that they put together were the CL coils for the Ego One, Tron tanks, a uh, couple, uh, one of one or two of the Wismac products use it as well. Um, but they're all compatible. I saw that, and they had like this crazy twisted uh, fused clap in one of them, and I thought, yeah, why don't I give something like that a shot? So, uh, gonna be a short video. What I did is I took uh, some pre-wound um, 2838 uh, Canthal Clapton, that's a 28-core 38 gauge wrap, doubled it in on itself, and twisted it with a drill, and then I coiled it up. Uh, made a bunch of these, set them off to the side. This particular one, I think I've got it at like 0.9 ohms, but uh, what I've been using in this is the same 0 0.7 ohms. Now, what I've had to do is make a tighter uh, inner diameter because this is only so big. This is a gutted CLR coil. I don't have the uh, top cap or the juice flow ring. I totally remove those when I'm using them in one of these. Uh, incidentally, still love this tank. Still love the mod. This thing goes with me everywhere every day. I don't know if it's my heaviest used mod. This guy probably is still, you know, up there for that. Anyway, back off that tangent. The challenge was to put one of these into that. And really it wasn't that bad. All I had to end up doing was instead of wrapping a three millimeter uh, inner diameter, because this has a three millimeter uh, air port, I wrapped a two and a half. Uh, rather, correction, I wrapped a three and then I put it on a two and a half post and I tightened it up. And what I ended up with that, uh, at the end of the day is about a 2.7, uh, 2.8, something like that, millimeter inner diameter. And the reason I had to do that is because of how thick this wire is. Uh, once I braided it in on itself, I mean, this stuff's really heavy. It's probably about as uh, thick in diameter as maybe a 23 gauge, something like that. And it just ate up a lot of room on the inside of this coil. So uh, I wrapped it vertically, bent the one leg down, bent the other leg down straight, uh, loaded it in, snip, 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 did what I had to do. Um, incidentally, that big and heavy of a wire, getting that little grommet uh, on the top, the silicone grommet, is a little challenging, but it's doable. Uh, and then I packed it with cotton. And that's why I had to uh, make the inner diameter smaller. I needed room to put cotton around this or it's useless. It's not going to wick. Tried it out and uh, wow, I was really impressed. Uh, I, I was amazed a that I was able to get a clap into work in this thing, and uh, b with its flavor and vapor output. Now um, using it on this, I'm generally rocking it at about 32 watts, just because these get your tank hot really fast. And I've noticed that even though this is still a 0.75 ohm build, uh, it comes at 0.71, but you know, close enough. Even though it's uh, that resistance, it sucks my battery dry really fast if I'm running this in power mode and at 40 watts. 
But uh, right now, I've got this thing, and I'm flooded out with the light a little bit. Sorry about that. At 32 watts, and uh, I'm running this in the standard power mode. And it's producing a ton of flavor and a ton of vapor. And it's giving me a slightly anemic vape for a Clapton because I'm kind of powering it down. I don't want this thing to get blistering hot, and it will. Um, but for shits and giggles, let me crank this bastard up. Do, 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 do. 40 watts. Power ramp up mode. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see that really good. Maybe, maybe. Bueller, Bueller. Anyway, take my word for it. 40 watts power mode. Hey, it was kind of blurred there. Yeah, I gotta figure out my lighting situation. This overhead light is just a little too blaring for this camera. Anyway, let's see what this bastard does. Good lord. I think it puts out a ton of vapor for, uh, for that. Um, it's hot. And if I chain vape this, by the way, all that that you're hearing, that that is not gurgling. It's not flooding. Uh, I certainly don't get dry hits off of this with the way that I've got it wicked because I don't have a shit ton of wick in there. But it's not gurgling. That is an angry coil that you hear in there sizzling away. That is these little bastards chewing up that juice and that's another thing that this does it really 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 drinks juice because it's just pulling it in so much better it's getting a little hot a little punchy for me a little throaty um, the vapor's just uh, getting warm because this coil gets hot and it stays hot. And my tank right now is pretty damn warm. But Jesus, that is some vapor. If you want to put one of these in a CLR coil and you want to use it in a Pico RTA, you're going to have a cloud chucking little beast. Again, you're not going to win a cloud chasing competition, but hey. You're pushing a lot more cloudage than you were before. Um, I personally am probably not going to use these particular coils in that uh, Pico Arte or in these particular atomizer heads just because they get really, really hot. Um, uncomfortably hot after more than four or five vapes. Yeah, it's getting a little toasty there. So I'm going to drop this out of power mode, go into standard and drop it down to a comfortable, reasonable, meh, 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 meh. Let's do 33 watts. Close enough for government work. That's still a ton of cloudage. And the tank is starting to cool down now because I'm not just constantly pounding 40 watts into this little coil. And something else, um, I mean the juice level's dropped a little bit. I haven't really plowed through it. I don't know if you can see it because of my ungodly lighting, but I think I just had it. My battery gauge has dropped significantly just in the time that I've done this review. I had it just barely down one little tiny sliver off of this, and now it's about halfway. These coils kill my battery. I don't know why. It shouldn't matter electronically, or electrically, rather. Uh, as far as the battery knows, it's a 0.75 ohm load. It might be because there's a ramp up time on this, and I've got to hit that and let it juice up or ramp up a little bit. Maybe I'm taking longer hits off. I don't know the exact logistics behind it. I mean, that's as good of a guess as any. But whatever the case, my battery life suffers significantly uh, by about. I'm losing 30-40% battery life. Easy. Juice life. Juice uh, consumption. I wouldn't say it doubles. I mean, maybe 50% more juice usage. But, if you want one of these uh, Pico RTAs, and you're going to use the CLR coils, 
you do have the option for putting a clapton in there. If you put a more traditional clapton, it might be a little less aggressive. And instead of doing a 2838 and then braiding it, um, maybe do a 2636, something like that, and uh, just use it as a single coil. You know, don't braid it in on itself, and maybe it'll be a little less aggressive, a little bit better on battery life. Whatever the case is, though, I'm probably not going to continue to do that. I'll use these coils in RDAs or in some, you know, and I hate the term, Genesis-style tank um, that can really benefit from these really, really uh, good coils. I mean, th these are good for wicking juice just because it's got so many little grooves in it with these teeny, 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 tiny wires. Uh, not alien style, but pretty good, and it's easy to make. Uh, really not sure what else to say about that. Um, support our rights. Support advocacy. Join Kasa, join Safada. Uh, take a look uh, all over YouTube at the other uh, vape reviewers out there, you know, the guys who have more than the little pittance of uh, subscribers that I have. They've got some good links and good resources. Uh, go to uh, Kasa's uh, call to action uh, page and see what they've got going. Talk to your representatives. Give them your vaping story. Tell them that vaping saved your life. If you're passionate about it, try to save it. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, leave it at that, and I won't preach, because just about every YouTube reviewer is preaching about it now. Bottom line about this, though. Good clouds, good flavor, bad battery. So I'm probably not going to use it. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and leave you with that. Enjoy the rest of your day. Vape on. Vape strong.